what advice uh, can you give writers where they can find inspiration? Because a lot, I mean, the inspiration, finding that well of inspiration when the muse doesn't show up, all that kind of stuff. What's your advice on that? I think those are actually two different questions. Okay. You know, one thing is, one question is, where do you find your inspiration? And the other question is, what do you do when your muse doesn't show up? <laughs> okay. Right? Okay. The truth is, if you wrote only when you were inspired, uh, oh. none of us would get anywhere. <laughs> right. you know, there would be no movies would get made. <laughs> you know, this is a job. So, uh, you know, Dave and I, we work bankers hours. We take our kids to school. We show up. We work from, you know, eight to four, four thirty. And then we pick our kids up and we have dinner with our families. When he says 8 to 4.30, he means 10 to... 10 to 12. You know, yeah, something like I, that. I could read between the lines, sir. Yeah, <laughs> uh, so you, you got to show up every day whether you're inspired or not. I think that any anyone who's inclined to do this probably has their own um, access to inspiration, whether it's music or other movies or... Uh, you know, wherever you find your creative muse, you know, everything's on the table and everything's legitimate. Uh, I think that the bigger, more important question is, what do you do when the muse doesn't show up? And the answer yeah. is you go to work. You go to work and you, ha you, have to, you have to be inspired by the prospect of success. Because if you don't believe that you're going to be successful, why do it? You know, you, it's going to be really hard to do it. I think every screenwriter has to really believe that, you know, I can be successful and I can do this. And by the way, you know, we're, I think screenwriters, we're a pretty average group of, of people, you know, we're not, I don't think we're a group of geniuses. Mm -hmm. I've, I've met a lot of writers in my life. They're, they're, you know, they have, they share certain qualities, but, um, they, they work hard at it. And, you know, if you work hard at it, I think you can probably you can probably do it at least learn to do it at a level that um, if you're dedicated enough and, and you have some modicum of talent, you can do it successfully as a career. But if you don't think about the result, if you don't think get inspired by like what could happen. I think it's going to be hard to finish your your work for the day. The other thing I would say is you should be excited not just by the prospect of your own success in your career, but you should be inspired by what the particular project you're working on can be. Because there are gonna be days that are gonna be very difficult, you're gonna be dragging, you're gonna be facing a problem, you're not sure how to resolve it. And uh, if you're not excited about the overarching idea that you're working on and about the prospect of delivering the screenplay of that idea and seeing that movie on screen, even if it's on your phone, um, it's going to be hard to get through the difficult days. It's a little bit like marriage, you know, uh, <laughs> some days are better than others. Touche, mine sir. It's great every day. Yes, mine too. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, there, too. Honey, if you're listening. <laughs> well, it's very similar to what Stephen Pressfield said, which is this, like you just show up every day and you just let the muse know that I'm going to be at this desk every day between right. 830 and 430. <laughs> that's right. If you decide to show up, this is where I'll be. But every that's day right. I'm going to show up. And that's the only way. You just got to keep, keep cranking. 